The Justice Minister is tasked with the responsibility of providing advisory services to the Master of the High Court, drafting of laws and providing legal aid to vulnerable people. The work of the legislative drafters in the Government Gazette Office cannot be underestimated and adequate and continual support must not be compromised. Dowsap further stressed that investigations into maintenance payments will be strengthened while provision of the Witness Protection and Whistleblowers Act will be implemented this year. We now have maintenance investigators appointed at nine main stations across the country with maintenance officers appointed at three of the main stations. Through these appointments, we are able to launch proper investigations into the ability of defendants to pay maintenance and to present evidence before court to make a finding commensurate with the evidence before it. The appointments according to the structure has not been completed, but we remain hopeful that we'll be able to do so progressively. In as much as we are ambitious in our plans, we also have to be realistic in our approach. Projects such as the implementation of the Witness Protection Act 11 of 2017 and the Whistleblower Protection Act 10 of 2017, which requires significant funding, will be implemented progressively in this financial year, initially starting with setting up some skeleton staff and process, but our commitment to do so is undoubted. The Minister further promised to fight transnational crimes and investigations. I'm stating these facts to prove that allocating money to Vote 16 is a responsible and high-yield investment for the proper administration of justice and to ensure legal services are widely available to the majority of Namibian people in an effort to enhance social justice. 